Hey there ladies and gents, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Drew and today is something of a sad day. But not too too, too sad, nothing horrible is going on in my life. I'm actually having a great time, but my hard drive died. So here's the story so far. I have my PC that I built in a server case, which is right here. And you'll notice up here at the top, I have a power strip that's meant to protect from surges and stuff like that. Now you may have noticed this cable that goes to this PC. It's plugged into this power strip now, but it wasn't that way no more than two days ago when I had it plugged in down there. Yeah, you can't see the plug, but whatever. You get the point, there's a plug back there. And there was a power surge. So the cord was plugged in here on the surge protector now, but it wasn't plugged in over there. So, yeah, I cry every time. So yeah, my M.2 SSD inside of my computer got zapped. And I went to turn on my computer yesterday to play some League of Legends with my good friend Jordan, and I couldn't boot. Press F in the chat for respects. I'll have some kind of reaction meme over here. But yeah. Everything else on my computer is totally fine, that's the good news. But I think with how M.2 SSDs work, since everything's stored in NAND gates, an extra, like an over voltage to those chips can actually throw all of the memory out of whack. Like it basically inverts all the bits and everything like that. And we won't go into a huge lecture about how or, um, NAND storage works, but long story short, if you over voltage or if you, my hypothesis is, if you put a surge through a M.2 that it's not expecting, it'll flip all the bits and get the NAND gates out of sync and it basically corrupts the drive. So we're gonna have to do a little bit of innovating here, trying to get that particular drive to go back up and working. But that is in the next video. Today, The topic of today's video is actually this new hard drive that I got. So this is a 970 Evo. But there's also another pile of goodies here that I got on Black Friday that I didn't really anticipate I would have to get because I didn't expect my computer to go on the fritz and get shocked through my own ignorance. But I thought today I would talk about some of the stuff that I scored on Black Friday, unbox a little bit of it, and then part two of this video will be me actually assembling my new computer and moving data around, seeing if I can get any of the information off of my old drive, if not, then I'll be throwing a new OS onto this drive, making my boot drive, and then I'll probably send the other drive off for warranty. So without further ado, let's take a look at what I got. So kicking things off, we've got the Samsung 970 Evo, and I'll probably unbox all of my computer parts in a second, separate video when I am assembling everything, so I can show you guys a little bit about how I assembled. So scored this guy on Amazon. There's still, there's a really great deal going on these for Cyber Monday. And in general, the storage price on these M.2 drives has gone way down. This is a 500 gig drive and I got it for less than 200 bucks. So didn't used to be the case. These used to be like over 400, but now they're 200. So life goes on. Next thing I got was these Sony WH-1000X M2 headphones. These were a score that my friend Melina told me about. Amazing, amazing headphones. They do noise canceling. They're wonderful. They have them. Um, they used to be three forty nine, but they're marked down to one ninety nine for Black Friday. And I think you can still get them on Amazon right now. They have full gesture controls, full, no full noise canceling, um, a handy carrying case. So if you have to throw it in your backpack, you're not just throwing in the headphones. You actually have some protection. And yeah, I lost my AirPods on the church retreat, so I needed a replacement pair of headphones, and these were on sale, so I got these. In addition to those, I also got a USB Type-C expansion card from StarTech. So this is just two extra USB-C ports. All of my drives that I use for keeping data and like video and the video or the drives that I edit off of are on USB-C. So I want to take advantage of that USB-C and go that route. So I got an expansion card, which will be going into this guy, which is the Strix Z270E gaming motherboard. This is a ATX size board. There's the Z270E and the Z270F. I got the E because it has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in. Um, obviously there's a newer chipset out there. I think there's 370, now 399, which is out. Um, those are for like the eighth and ninth gen processors, KB Lake and Coffee, or Coffee Lake and the newest revision. I don't, I forgot the code name for the ninth generation. Uh, 
builds. I could have all these mixed up, bear with me. I don't remember all the code names, but um, I got Z270 because I have a 7700K and so I have a seven series. And these guys with a bio splash will actually support the eighth and ninth gen chips. So eventually when I upgrade, I can just splash a new BIOS onto it and then it will have support for the new processors on the LGA 20, or the LGA 1151 socket. So yeah, pretty awesome Black Friday haul. Like I said, I didn't expect to get all of this stuff because my computer went on the fritz, but it was kind of pleasant that it happened because I've been looking to do an upgrade for a while. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and unbox the headphones now. We'll do, like I said, the computer parts in a separate video, but live unboxing here will be the 1000X M2s here. And like I said, these were amazing. And I tried them out at Best Buy and my friend Melina had rave really reviews about them. So we're going to pop this guy open. This could be my first foray into turning this into an unboxing channel. Although there are so many of those out there already that I would have a lot of competition. So if you guys have a favorite unboxing channel, I really like unboxing it's kind of a vicarious experience but um i just Steven's a favorite she does more than just tech re or uh, tech unboxing she does like other stuff like cooking and stuff unbox therapy is pretty much the goat when it comes to this sort of stuff so his channel i think is like 14 million subscribers or something like that and yeah we're not gonna get uh, there we go so much for a clean opening they like there's a tab here and then it's glued in so making funny faces while I open stuff here. Yeah, I really like Igestine or like Unbox Therapy. Um, wow, <laughs> this guy went flying. Anyway, um, so yeah, we open up the box and then there's another box inside of this box. So, got a nice Sony box here. I don't know how well this is going to fare on camera since I don't have a proper unboxing setup and this is completely off the cuff, but we open. There we are. There's that really nice case and it has this kind of gold accent on it to let you know that these are the gold headphones. These come in two colorways. There's a gold one and then a silver one. And then inside of here, we've got the charging cable and then the 3.5 millimeter cable in case you need to plug it into stuff but Apple has pretty much eliminated the 3.5 millimeter jack from any and all device that I have. Actually, my MacBook still has a 3.5 jack, but um, if Apple could have it their way, this cable wouldn't exist because 3.5 millimeter jacks wouldn't exist. And because I'm corporate trash and I buy all Apple stuff, I'm not gonna have 3.5 millimeter anything, but it's good to have that cable as a backup. So pulling out the charging cable, Warranty card information, so this thing probably has a bajillion and two year warranty or something like that. I don't know. I don't plan on breaking my headphones anytime soon, and if I don't, then, or if I do, then I'll probably read this. So yeah, that's everything that's in the box. Pretty straightforward. I'm going to tuck this back in here, and then we'll get into opening these guys up. So, now these guys do fold down, which is really, really nice. Um, paper. Um... Uh, What's this? Mm -hmm. Oh, is this like a, this is interesting. So there's this little box inside. Yo, this is cool. So you know how on airplanes they have like the two, some airplanes have two 3.5 millimeter jacks, one for uh, headphones and one for, um, for audio. So this one converts it to one and then you just plug the 3.5 millimeter jack. Good on you, Sodi. So with a lot of noise canceling headphones, obviously they target the travel market because the noise canceling headphone kind of came out of a need for like, blocking out engine noise, um, especially on airplanes. So that was one of the major needs behind it. And so, yeah, here we go. And I kid you not, the noise canceling on these guys is amazing. Obviously they aren't charged or maybe they are. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, the noise canceling is still on here. I know it sounds like I'm talking normally, but I can barely hear myself. This is nice. Don't you just love silence? I do. But yeah, um, these are incredible. The um, noise canceling is, and it looks like there's a toggle switch right here so you can toggle the noise canceling on and off, so. Very, very nice. The design language on these is really, really nice. Um, I like how they look and everything like that. And like I said, the nice little case is nice as well. So I'll get these paired up to my 
phone and check it out that way. But um, yeah, like I said, I really, really like these. I've tried them out. The range and the balance on them is really good. I know with like beats and stuff like that, the bass is a little bit more heavier. And on some of like the Bose headphones, the high ends are a little bit higher, but really this one's the most like balanced. And like I said, with the noise canceling paired in there, it just sounds amazing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing here. This is a quick unboxing of the WH-10 or 1000 XM2s. Um, but yeah, maybe now I'll be a unboxing channel. So if you guys like this unboxing, be sure to let me know. I'd be happy to do more unboxings, but stay tuned for part two of this video where we actually get into the good stuff. And that is building out my new computer or building out the new motherboard and everything like that. And um, we'll be doing some wacky stuff. I, like I said, I think I have an idea of maybe how I could get the stuff of my old drive if I can even get it to um, get on and I can see anything. But um, yeah, I have some ideas. We'll go through that, some trial and error, and I'll talk about some computer science flavored stuff and we'll go from there. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a dislike. I learned just as much from the dislikes as I do from the likes. And if you want to continue the conversation, be sure to leave a comment down below. And we'll finish up in the normal way. And that was by me saying, always remember that you are wanted, you are loved, and you are appreciated. You have a special talent that nobody else has, and the world is waiting on you to bring it out. So muster a little courage, go out into the world, and change it. That's what the world's waiting on. You.